There's a chance here that Binance is actually burning Terra Luna Classic or like Luna Classic coins here. So this is awesome to see. We have to go and check out what's going to happen to the future of Terra Luna. So I recommend everybody to watch the entire video to find out everything that's been happening here for the last couple of days here to Terra Luna and Terra Luna Classic. Okay, let's go and check it out. So only a small percentage of people are actually subscribed here to my channel. So if you want to help me reach 50,000 subscribers, just hit that subscribe button. It's totally free and it really helps the channel out. And you can always change your mind later. So here we are, core market cap. Right now, the market here for Terra Classic is $480 million. We have continued here to go down we are 15% down right now. The price of one single token is at 0 0.00007. The volume is at $130 million right now. And the volume again is going down. Like why are we going down? What is the biggest reason why, they, why we did go down here by 15%? It's because, well, Bitcoin did go down. And most of the altcoins are going down with Bitcoin right now. So, correction, massive market correction we're gonna see what's gonna happen there's a chance that the bitcoin will break down even to some lower lows so we're gonna see if that happens and there's a chance here the terra classic and luna and terra luna will go down well we have terra luna here that has a price of 4.36 dollars that means that they go down here by 18 percent mark cap says here 916 million and we have vo the volume here at 313 million but the volume again here they go down by 40 percent this time so we're losing volume here for terra luna it's not a good thing and the price like i said has been going down if you look at the last seven days we only continue to make some new lows because Looks like some big whales have been selling off their coins here and we did continue to go down. This is what's been happening. So let's go. First thing first, we have here some updates saying here, urgent draft proposal for developers funds distribution is up review for Terra money. So user developers for Terra version 2 will potentially be holding a space soon for Q&A, but please post comments on the forum, share and retweet it as soon as possible. Thanks. You can check this out if you want. So, so. Injury things are still happening here. We still have like these big, big, big D apps, like big projects here who are coming back here to Terra Luna, like Terra 2.0, let's let's call it. And because of that, like Terra 2.0 still has a lot of potential. But Doquan, for some reason, I don't know, guys, is this for only for me or for everybody? If I go here and just enter Doquan, and if I find his Twitter, the problem is it's. It just says here it's protected, so I don't know if he he blocked me or something. I got no idea, but I just can't see his tweets. Can you guys see his tweets? Please put your opinions, like put your answers down in the comments. So I want to know what is actually happening here. Okay, we have this post here saying Luna governance in disarray as Doquan jokes about Terra ecosystem, saying here the Dark Knight of Terra is back. So and this time, Fat Man Terra has some of the most reprehensible ex examples of an ecosystem in free fall ever seen in crypto. So Fatman Terra started his thread by saying tensions are high and the big sharks smell blood. He revealed a thread detailing recent conversations between validators and Terra Labs. So Torchain Maximalist recently leaked that the chat records from May 12th when the Luna blockchain was offline. So Fatman Terra has now released further conversations from TFL that showcase an increased disdain for the community that has supported. Uh, below is a screenshot including Doquan which shows him cracking jokes about multiple multi-billion ecosystem collapses causing people to commit around the world. So this is maybe the source thing here. Five, semi joke uh, idea tenders. You pay tokens for a swipe. If someone swipes right on you, you get tokens. If you match the tokens, you go to the DAO. Hot girls print money. Simp DAO. <laughs> yeah, this is what he's been saying. So, yeah, Dokuan, main account. Awesome. To see the mechanisms of, suge of suggesting a concept as a semi joke idea is something often used as a tool to propose ideas without risking a hit to one's ego. If validators simply laugh at the proposal, the proposal has uh, achieved their goal. Further, if the submissions is received well, the proper can claim it was only half a joke. So, an article by the American Psychology Associate states, humans have a fundamental need to belong. That this need is deeply rooted in our evolutionary history and has all sorts of consequences from modern psychology processes. So, however, the Dokkan idea is objectively absurd given the nature of the situation he finds himself in. So, humor may be used as a coping mechanism, but Dokkan has a duty 
to focus on the tasks at the hand of stabilizing the Terra ecosystem. So yeah, people are pretty much pissed off here and he's just making jokes. And, like, he was making jokes at that time. So pretty terrible if you're asking me. We have this post here saying Luna price prediction uh, zero, uh, in 2022. Will it hit 71 Dollars. So, Luna prediction uh, price prediction for 2022 says that the token could be trading at 71 by December 31st. So, the bullish case for Luna. So amid accusations of fraud and doubt in the new Terra blockchain, there are many commentators still bullish on Luna. So, the popular cryptocurrency analyst Terra Watcher published a thread calling the Terra 2 blockchain the most democratic of any cryptocurrency. Of any currently on the market, while tokens like Solana and Avalanche have between 62 to 73 percent of native tokens were in the hands of a core development team. Luna tokens were 90 percent distributed to community investors, with the remaining 10 percent airdropped to non Terraform Labs affiliated developers. So, Terra Watcher has also praised the great UX experience of Terra based products and the wealth of dApps. So, Applications and developers are already pledging allegiance to Luna. So, according to uh, Terra Watcher, the current 10% price drop in Luna in the in the past day to 6.49 dollars is due to former investors selling off uh, their airdrop Luna tokens to make a small return on investment. So, Wallet Investor Luna hit 71 dollars by the end of 2020. So, the cryptocurrency prediction website Wallet Investor is the most bullish on Luna. Price predictions. Wallet Investor predicts Luna to reach a price of $21 by July 1st, okay, then $27 by August 1st, and then $42 by September 1st, and finally $71 by the end of December. In five in a five years' time, Wallet Investor predicts a Luna price of $283. Okay. Uh, the problem with that is we're in a bear market. So because we're in a bear market, I don't think anything is going to go up. Not no, not just Luna, but no crypto is going to go up to make some new highs because we're just in a bear market. Maybe we're going to have some relief rallies, but we're not going to make some new all-time highs. That's that's the biggest problem here. So, CoinMarketCap Cap bearish Luna price predictions. CoinMarketCap Cap allows for social predictions for from users. The current Luna price prediction for the end of June is currently at six dollars and thirty-eight cents for nearly one thousand votes. This would suggest a minus one percent. 1.7% price drop from the current Luna price. The highest price prediction for Luna were up to $17.5 by the end of June, while the lowest prediction was down at $2.5. So, yeah, right now, like I said, we're below their estimate, so $4.3. So, we're going to see what's going to happen to this Luna, but because Doquan is making some fishy moves, not a lot of good things are going to happen here. That's my biggest problem with Luna right now and he's basically i can't even see his twitter so that's 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 the main thing that's annoying me right now so maybe it's it's something that's in me it's a it's maybe something that he didn't do i got no idea if you look at the market right now if you check out bitcoin the rest of the market basically you can see here that bitcoin tried here to go up to thirty one thousand dollars, almost 32 but we got heavily rejected here this area once we did we made a Massive sell off. This was basically a 5%, maybe even more than yes. Like at a time, 7.7%. Now we stabilized a little bit, but still 7% correction. That's massive. 7% correction for Bitcoin. It's massive. Because of that, you can see just the the rest of the altcoins here are pretty much going down. We got here Cardano, boom. Exact same correction here. We got Kronos, boom. A little bit of a correction here. So a lot of coins that go down. If we check out Luna, let's see if we're still in the triangle. I think we're, we're, we should be in the triangle here for Luna, or are we, or do we like break below the triangle? If we broke below the triangle, then we're gonna see massive lows right now. So what's gonna happen? Yeah, we're still in triangle. We're still in this like descending like wedge triangle thingy. So because of that, maybe we can somehow bounce off in the end, but we have to have a catalyst. We have to have a reason why Terra Luna will go up and right now we don't really have that reason so because of that plus we're in a bear market I do believe that we are going to continue to go down until some big news some big events happen so we need maybe some new dApp some new way how to do it I know that staking is going to in, in the future with U, USDT so they're going to use te uh, Tether for staking that's going to be pretty cool but still it's it's just weird. 
it's just not enough things that need to happen here if we want to see the success of Terra Luna. Especially the new one, the old one is going to pretty much die off because if we don't have any developers who are going to develop this chain, then yeah, it's just going to die off and that's it. But for the, ter the new Terra Luna, we have the devs, but we don't have the trust. And that's the biggest problem. And plus people have like airdrop coins so they can sell forever and ever. Uh, but it's going to take some time for that to happen. So they need to get their second airdrop. It's going to take for it's going to take some time for a second airdrop. We're going to see, guys. There's a lot of still potential here, but for now we have continued here to go down. In the end, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do want to invest into these coins, please do your own research first. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'm going to see you in the next video.